What's going on, guys? Welcome back to, I mean, really my first, like, Black Ops 4 Capcom video, whatever. I've had a lot of crappy videos on my channel recently. I don't know why. It's just every time I build the motivation up to actually do a Capcom, I just lose it or I don't have the time to do it or it I have plans to do it because I always get motivated when I have plans or something like to do something outside of recording. Um, so we currently have like uh, 30 minutes until the beta ends. So I'm like cutting it close. Yeah, I know we're level 40 right now. I grind it out. I probably have around like 30 hours in this game. So I, I have an honest opinion. I have a really honest opinion about the game. And I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm out of the honeymoon stage too, just because of all the hours I've actually put in. I've gotten to the point where I've gotten tired of this game. Um, not in a bad way. By the way, if you're curious, I basically run this gun. This, this is a sub-heavy game. It's just it, it, ARs, they don't really shine. The tactical ARs, they, they they shine in a way, but the subs are really good. I run the SOG, and it has the sight of the MSMC, which is really, really nice, but it kind of looks like an Uzi. And then it has grip, quick, draw, and stock, and that's really... This is my class, really. I haven't messed too much with my perks. Maybe I'll, like, uh, take out a ghost for a dead silence or... Or, I mean, gun hole. I don't think dexterity does too much in this game. But if if I want to get ammo, then I'd probably run scavenger over dexterity, and then maybe I'll like go through flak jacket and attack. But other than that, it's like this is the class that I would run basically. Now I run ruin a lot of the time just because I like his grapple hook because I've learned to use it so well that if I'm in a bad situation, I literally get on the other side of the head. Like if I push up and I'm like, oh crap, I pushed up too far, I'll get back and then. I'll heal and then I'll grapple above like the three people that are coming through the door and then I'll, I'll like, I don't know, I feel really cool doing it. And then these are my score streaks. Um, I've been highly capable of hitting all these score streaks. I've gotten the gunship like six times. The strike team I've only used once, so I've, only, I've gotten it once. Um, the strafe run I literally put on like last night, so I still haven't gotten it and I probably won't get it. Uh, attack chopper I've gotten a lot. I've gotten the, uh, the mantis a lot because it's really easy to get. The score streaks are really, really easy to get in this game. I really like it because if you're a support uh, person like Crash where you just like uh, can give people a lot of heals and stuff like that, you get 200 for using your alt, and so that's that helps a lot towards the 1600. And then if you play objective like on Dom or Hardpoint, that's another uh, like a lot of points. And if you get kills on the objective, that's a lot of points. So it's really easy to get streaks in this game if you're a support role or even if you're not a support role. Now, I also use the MX-9. This is my class for MX-9. I'd assume though that the rapid fire is going to get banned like when it comes to CWL or like league play. So instead of that, I'd probably run advanced mags because... Uh, just doesn't have a lot of ammo in its clip and really if i'm if i'm taking off rapid fire i advanced mags probably wouldn't be super helpful but it's it's still a little bit helpful now i'm going to talk about score streaks i just talked a little bit about them but uh i'm going to talk about my review just based on score streaks i feel that they are very that they got their week at the beginning of the beta and then they got a buff in the second week but how i feel about the buff is i still feel like some things are underpowered and some things are overpowered like for instance the attack chopper i feel like it's a little bit overpowered the mantis uh there's still a few more bugs like noah my friend or Baratic, whatever god Baratic. he was running the mantis and the mantis was literally like trying to climb up a wall it would literally like hit a, it would like hit a wall and then it'd back up and then it hit the wall and it literally just kept hitting the freaking wall so i mean it's just a few glitches that they had to fix so I, there's really not that many problems with the score streaks i feel but like for the bad thing was for the gunship it's it's really really powerful but P, the cold-blooded you unlock is your first perk so people are running cold-blooded and that's not really that good if you if you're a gunship because you can't see their red icon so i kind of just like i'm literally shooting at nothing i do have a gameplay of the gunship i think i have two gameplays uh so you guys might see those i don't know we'll see strike team i feel like is uh not my favorite because the strike team is basically two paratroopers but they have like health on steroids and i liked paratroopers more because it had the, they had the health as regular people but there are more of them but for this there's only two of them and they have a lot of health i think that's really all i have for the score streaks i don't like how you unlock the counter uav at 33 so i hope they really lower that down in the sentry gun um yeah i think they they buffed it to a pretty accurate spot and also for the care package though if you got a mantis from the care package uh it said press or hold down x to receive cerberus so it kind of shows the laziness that they had when going from black ops 3 to black ops 4 in terms of graphics things and yeah things that's how i'm gonna explain it also i wonder if it's still here but if you go to graphics and then colorblind mode it shows you the map of combine so 
again they just kind of stole that from black ops 3 it's a little bit lazy in my opinion so i, I don't know now we're gonna go to weapons because i'm done with score streaks but we literally i think subs they dominate in this game the time to kill it's i personally think it's fine the time to kill i think it's perfect where it is it you, maybe it's not perfect but they don't need to adjust it you just have to adjust how you play like i use the mx9 a lot i used to spitfire a little bit i didn't like it I, because it got buffed or nerfed in the second week to the ground and then i also use the sog like the last day of the beta and i was shredding with it it's probably to be the gun i use in the game uh probably my ranking for best subs like down the list is probably sog at number one mx9 at number two uh gks at number three spitfire four and then cordite at five cordite just has a recoil that i'm pretty sure there's no grip to actually counter it. other as well either way the recoil was just really really annoying and what did i just delete i think i deleted the mx9 now i little i used a little bit of this all rifles not really that much i just was focused on using subs now uh icr it's basically like the the black ops 3 version it's really accurate it's a little bit powerful it's just really really good the kn this gun is really really good compared to how it was in black ops 3 it's powerful it's like a three shot kill i think so it's really really powerful the rampart is like your scar i still don't know how to say rampart 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 but the rampart is like a scar so if you could just imagine how that is and then these last two ones i didn't use long enough to actually uh give a good like opinion on it so if i was ranking the ars from like worst to best or best to worst probably would have kn rampart and then icr that's just how i have i'm not going to rank these because again i did not use them so i don't know them and then you have tactical rifles and i only really use the abr i used the auger once and then the swordfish i like picked it up maybe once every every once in a while from like a dead body and then i would just uh you know use it uh abr it's super overpowered it's a burst aug like if you remember the aug from the older call of duty game so if you could just imagine how powerful it is it really two burst people with the time to kill so abr has to be ranked first and then the auger is like your m1 grand so it's my number two and the swordfish is number three just because i didn't use it that much and then snipers uh snipers are actually pretty accurate i'm pretty sure one shot kill the head chest and shoulders and then this one is a one shot kill from chest up so i think this one I mean, this one, these guys are the same. They're literally the same, but I think the Kashka is the way to go just because I think, yeah, you get the speed center operator mod. If you don't know what that is, basically when you aim in, that short time between aiming in and actually being in your scope or like not aiming in and being in your scope, you have a hundred percent accuracy so like wherever you, it'll like shorten your crosshair for like a hundred percent accuracy and you can just like technically no scope people or microscope how jev explained it in terms of gear i don't think that body armor was super overpowered in the first week and this is how i felt about it how i felt about it in the first week was okay they added a new thing to the game if you run a stim shot you heal like three as of last week you healed every three seconds you could three, heal every three seconds if you did not have a stim pack you healed every six seconds so how i felt was so the new meta is body armor so i'm thinking okay i think i'm gonna run body armor just because i have to stay up to pace with the game and how people are playing the game and also i'm only sacrificing three seconds of healing which i mean six seconds is around the time it takes to heal in other call of duty games so it's really not that much of a difference but as of week two they actually nerfed body armor and i don't feel like it's worth running anymore so i was running stim shop the whole entire time i didn't use the other ones the comsec device is actually pretty good because it lowers the gunship by like four kills like 400 like points it's actually really really good and again i didn't use the rest of these i only used him shot so i'm not gonna act like i know what i'm talking about uh perks yeah i think i already talked about this and we currently have like 15 minutes to play one last game so i'm just gonna hop in the match oh in terms of game modes i mean i was happy with it search or destroy felt fine heist was actually really really fun if you're playing with a party and uh yeah we're gonna actually play a capture Mm, capture mosh but yeah we'll try getting captured the rare part it was i was one of like the first people to actually reach level 40 on the xbox because i i grinded it i probably got it in like maybe 11 hours uh so it, it was really quick for me to get the level 40 i got to like 33 at the end of the first day i didn't reach it to 34 sadly in that first day but then we got the double xp and i ranked up so fast so i got 40 in like three hours two hours that next day so I thought it was pretty pretty good pretty good in my opinion out of all the maps this map and hacienda are my least favorite maps i just don't i like how hacienda this is probably my least favorite map because i don't like how it looks i don't like how it plays but hacienda is just it plays 
so bad like it is really really bad but it looks pretty nice and crap we can't use ruin all right we are down uh 30 for our final game it's fine Take so it be me. it this is my warm-up game there's a warthog in the air i'm um, fps Take issues it's round. fine my opinion i really don't understand the the fog of war it's just it literally works like a regular mini map to me in my opinion it works as regular as mini map losing a Damn, dude. It, yeah, we're just getting. They have made control by a mile. All right, new half, new team. We'll be good. Personally, I've never, I've He's never gone. seen an AC-130 in my game, as in like somebody else using it. But I've used it like six times, so I, I have a lot of experience with it. Actually, so I heard they like, they made it so you could jump high again, like six feet. And they also increased the sliding distance. So I'm actually curious. Yeah, like, in the like, third day, they increased it. So, uh, I really didn't notice it, to be quite honest. They did not add bunny hopping, though, back again. So, I guess that's kind of good. I was I was really using bunny hopping, though, to my, uh, my advantage. So, I'm, I'm a monster in this game, I'd like to say. But when we're dumb like this, if you had no teammates, dude... You know, no. Something I noticed about this game is I'm I'm in love with this game. I think it's really really good. So, um, but I was also playing with a party of people. So I I feel like if I was if you're playing solo this whole entire beta, you'd have different opinions on it because you're probably not winning a lot. But like for me, where I had five to six people to play with, I I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was a really good game. No, there's no reason to challenge in this. Bet, bet. That, where you at? Where you at, Ka? Where you at? Where you at? I'm one. I'm one. I'm one, cousin. I'm one. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, where you at, cousin? Oh, my lord. You got shited on. All right. Yep. We're into it, boy. We're into it, boys. Comeback starts now. There's a guy yellow. Good to know. Oh, damn. My aim. Garbage. Come on, teammate. Help me out. Where you at? Oh, you're right there. I got you. I got you. I got you. Good thing you're bad at aiming. You're not bad at aiming. You have no awareness. But, like, this game, I feel like it's one of my best Call of Duty games. If they were to keep it like this, I feel like the guns are balanced perfectly. No. I gotta rush to B. I gotta rush B. I gotta rush B. Yes. There you go. And then you're rushing. You're rushing, and then I'll fry you. Because I fry. Something I noticed, uh, there's just a few glitches that they have to fix. Uh, but there's not that many, to be quite honest. There's just a few glitches that's good, that there's gonna be. I just got nine banged. <laughs> I took so long to kill me. So one of the glitches I noticed was if you're running Ruin, it's actually very, uh, the, the grapple looks very finicky on how far, like, what you can grapple onto, and I don't like it. 200! Oh, 150, because I don't think we don't have full people. Oh, dang it, teammate, thank you. Ah, I'm one shot. I'm damaged. I have 163 health, though. Hop off me. I'm still wounded. I'm still wounded. I'm still wounded. I guess you could say I've been going super sweaty at this game. But I've been super good, so that's besides the point. Yeah. Oh. Oh, in the corner! As of a uh, corner campers. Um here's here's the thing you have to sacrifice if you're playing solo. If you're playing solo, uh if you wanna get tryharded on, you wanna get played placed against like tryhards and shit, then you go on domination. That'll be your your strong suit. But if you wanna actually like I'm getting pinched right now. Sucks. Oh, I, I'm not I'm not ready for this gunfight. I'm I'm challenging. Oh damn! I wasn't ready for that gunfight, but I'm still going for it. But if you if you're solo and you want to play, uh, you want to play Dom, you're gonna you're gonna get faced with tryhards. That's the bad part. But if you play TDM, you're gonna get faced with campers. So if you really have to pick your poison, it's uh really annoying how people play in this game. But you can't do anything about it for the most part. You hate to see it. You hate to see the Ajax go down. I finna challenge you again because I'm an aggressive motherfucker. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Again, this is my warm up game, so I don't suck like this bad all the time. So, uh. Please don't say anything mean. Uh, I think I'm one of the better players in this game. Uh, I think if the, if the XP leveling up system is like this fast in the actual game, I. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this again this year because I said it last year. I think I can get a prestige a weekend. Sadly, we could have come back, but I did go 17 and 12. But we did have our guy, cleanup kid, go 8 9, 9 8 19. So that's my final game. It's a bad game to start off on. But, uh, 
Oh yeah, Smoke like camp. it. Like the kill. Yeah, corner camper. Don't no no nothing new. Nothing new. So my how how my weekend's been going with this game? I'm doing really good. I've doing I've been doing the best Call of Duty that I have been doing in a while. Um, I have around a two KD. So or I did have a two KD. Now I have like a one point five because you know I started playing a lot of solo and it really brought me down. But I, I'm really good at this game. This is going to be one of my better games until they mess it up in the full game. They mess up like guns and weapons of balancing and all that fun stuff. My KD only really went down because I really don't know how to counter campers. When I was playing solo, I was like, I'm going to play TDM. I'm going to have to face campers. But I don't know how to counter campers myself. I suck at it really. Um, and then when I do counter them, like there, there's always one guy that would camp with barbed wire and his microwave shield on to in top church. And I literally just hopped in through the window and then i would kill him and i'd shoot his body and teabag him and those were literally the only bodies i would shoot were uh people that were camping i just don't like them why why do you play like this like how do you have the actual like intention span of like a 70 year old like you have the patience of a 70 year old just like sitting there just like <laughs> i'm just gonna mind my own business just wait for him to peak a color so i I'm, I've said this, I don't think I've said this in a video, but the betas are usually always better than the full release. And this is why, I don't know, this, this is not really why, but it's really weird how this works because in Black Ops 3, the beta was really, really good. It was just well-rounded. It wasn't super like unbalanced or anything. There were just like, there were just crashes like with your game and stuff. So there's minor problems. And then the full release of Black Ops 3 was so good, but it was just not as good as the beta like i've had a lot more fun with the beta than i did with the actual game and also black ops 3 i had more of a like a fun fun vibe to it like i just had a lot of fun like laughing moments like really really funny moments because we just played s d all day and we had strategies for every map that really worked and we had this thing called dolphin squad where we had like black hats and we just sit in the water until the last or until all of our teammates died and then we'd push out into a bomb site and hunted I just remember it so well that, that I overcomplicated it. But this game, I had a lot more competitive fun, which means I'm doing good overall, which makes me happy. So I did a, I did really, really good this beta. So I had a lot of fun with it. So that's sort of my competitive fun side. I have that a lot with World War II. You can't really have fun with World War II though, because it is so, so boring. So that competitive fun is really the only fun I can look for. And then here's how I feel with the actual game coming. Oh my God, we have three minutes until we get kicked off the server. I'm upset. But here's how I feel about the actual game. There were little to no glitches like at the end of week two for me I didn't see many glitches. They're just like minor glitches that really they could fix in two months It's just a collection of small glitches that they can all fix in two months. I think balancing is good I think uh, you may people are upset about the time to kill but it's really just like you run a sub or a tactical rifle or really any weapon the time to kill doesn't feel like anything too like crazy like I don't feel the time to kill I mean, I feel a difference like compared to World War II, but I don't, I don't really notice it. After I play for an hour, it's like something that's really, really normal. Like if I'm using like the SOG, the SOG is really, really good. So I just melt people with it. So I don't, I, I love, I actually don't hate the time to kill. I love it probably. I probably love it, but all the time I'm saying like, hey, I wish I can go back and play the Black Ops 3 beta just to see how it was in that form. And uh, I, I'm probably gonna say that like in. in like the next few months when black ops 4 is actually released and there's gonna be like so many campings like sweaty tryhards well really this is the final look we have at the black ops 4 beta that's really upsetting honestly this is the last time we're gonna see the beta i'm so sad we have a minute we're down to a minute we have like 50 seconds left so i'm so sad oh my god is it gonna like kick me i'll be like thanks for playing it's probably gonna be like thanks for playing and i'm gonna be like okay i'm gonna go play world war ii again <laughs> I really don't know how to play World War II though. World War II, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna get shot at, like kill him, and then I'm gonna like go in a corner and like throw a flashbang trying to heal myself. He's like LB's your healing thing. So I'm gonna be like flash, and I'm gonna like flash myself and my teammates gonna be like, the fuck is wrong with you? But something I've really gotten out of this game was that I really haven't gotten out of another Call of Duty game. It, and it probably is because I'm, I'm a lot worse at other Call of Duty games is I just, for some reason, every time I just get like some type of like high every game that I'm just like, oh my God, I'm shredding. Like, and I get this on 2K too. So I get, when I play 2K, I play it mostly to get like highlight real plays. Like those like real life highlight plays that you would see like in real life. And I'm not saying like you'd see Call of Duty in real life, but oh, it's 1 PM. Oh, this is sad. This is sad, dude. But 
I, <laughs> like, for instance, like pulling off three pieces, like sliding around and pulling off three pieces. That's a, like that's what I play for. I think it's just really fun to play for that. So, uh, I don't know. I just get that high or like that motive to play every single game to try to get that three piece or try to get that gunship or try to get that crazy like little kill like feed. And I've had a few of those. I've had like a feed of like six kills where I'm just like sliding around their spawn, just like oh my god, how what am I even doing? So it's a little bit upsetting that uh i'm not gonna be able to do that till october overall i think this is probably one of my favorite call of duty games i it's early and again the beta always is better than the full release of the game so i hope it stays this way but i i think with the minimal glitches that they have and minimal problems that they have to fix, I think that, except for server issues, that's always gonna happen for a Call of Duty game because you can't expect like a million people, two million people to be logging on all at the same time onto a single server. So they're gonna have server issues. It's just like, it's just, you can't avoid that. But it, other than that, I think the game is is set to be pretty good. It's just really, really, the beta is really, really good in terms of servers and everything. Uh, in terms of glitches, in terms of like a lot of things, it, it seems to be really, really good. So I think that this is really set up to be one of the best Call of Duty games. And there's a lot of haters, there's a lot of people that are saying, eh, Call of Duty sucks, but they're literally just pessimists. <laughs> call me a Treyarch fanboy, call me call me a Call of Duty fanboy, but I am uh, I, I just think this game's going to be really, really good. Especially for me, as I do really, really good on it. So, yeah. My favorite map, probably contraband. It just I've heard a lot of people say bad things about it just because the water connects the like the whole map, but I like it personally. I think it it plays really, really nicely. I would say Seaside, but Seaside is a it's a map where campers can excel. I decided to burn. It's a map where cam uh, campers can actually excel. So if they in uh, yeah, you can camp on contraband too, but I, I always finesse on shit like if there's if they're sitting ship window I literally just finesse so hard and I can kill them but church like if they're sitting top church like they're literally like I, There's one instance like last night where I was hopping into the front church window on uh, Seaside and the guy knew that there's one of my teammates was coming up the stairs So he was just laying down behind his barbed wire and microwave Shield and I'm just like dude. How do you play like this? Like how do you actually play like this? I killed him, shot his body, and that was the end of the day. I might include a uh, gameplay of the AC-130 either in the middle of this when I just talked about score streaks or at the end. I might do that right now, but <coughs> uh, rating out of 10, I think a beta is a solid 9 to or 8 to 9 out of 10. I think it's really, really, really fun. I've had more fun. And I, <coughs> I've heard this from a lot of people saying that they've had more fun in this beta than they have like any Call of Duty game, World War II, I mean, World War II, it's not that hard, but like I heard one of my friends say, I've had more fun in this in this five minutes of Black Ops 4 because he just played the game for, for the first time last night. He's like, I've had more fun for the first five minutes of this game than I have in my entire World War II career. <laughs> so I, that that tells me something. I had a lot of fun with it too. I've had a, like a lot more fun with this game than I really have with a lot of Call of Duty games. I wouldn't say that, but it tops Black Ops 2 because I had a lot of moments in Black Ops 2, but it, it it gets up there. It gets up. That is the end of the Black Ops 4 beta. I had a lot of fun with it. Again, I think it's a really, really good game. I think it's gonna be a good game. Um, not yeah. I that's all I gotta say. That's my honest review of Black Ops 4. So if you enjoyed this video, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and that's all I got. See you also. Watch out for the AC-130 gameplay. Taking B. Alpha. Securing Bravo. Down. We lost Alpha. Be secure. Hostile UAV circling. Losing Bravo. You're in my ass. UAV standing by. Ah.
Threat neutralized. UAV mission on 50% expansion. Period, my ass. Advantage available for tasking. That's a kill. Rules requesting Mantis deployed. Losing B. We're pulled ahead. Move. We lost Bravo. We've lost control. Bravo secure. Gunship awaiting orders. Losing Bravo. C locked down. Tatcom, establish gunship on my We have the advantage. That's all, folks.